episode 102. Yeah, we're still kicking. Now, over the last week, some awesome things have happened during the stream and also some, uh, some incredibly painful things have happened during the streams. And uh, I have to say right up, right up front, Ender Pearls are such a pain together. I mean, they are really a pain. I spent about two and a half hours during one stream just farming Ender Pearls. You gotta check this out. Um, you see these Ender Pearls? This is a problem. Any mob drop that we get that's in a major large quantity like this, we do not have an automated setup fully for. So, um, what I want to be able to do is I want to be able to have this running and actually working. Um, the planned thing for this was to have this player damage trap automatically kill the mobs and give the drops and, and go ahead and place the drops here, which this will collect and the drops will end up going into this drawer. Um, I'm almost positive. It's been a while since I've played around with this, but I'm pretty sure I have that set up to do this. Yeah, there's a hopper that goes into the drawer controller and all of that is set up. We have 109 dimensional shards. I could go farm some dimensional shards and what we can do is we can definitely just change this whole area up. These need to, these matter beamers all need to be changed uh, and upgraded for sure. Yeah, this will help with efficiency, I believe. I just need to go around and grab all these. Actually, we should probably use um, Silk Touch. Yeah, let's use this. We'll just Silk Touch these. And I should be able to... This, this is going to work, but it's not really what I had in mind. Is it already full? Why is it not picking this up? Do I need stack upgrades? I need more stack upgrades. I wonder if there's a max of nine or whatever. Max of six. There it goes. Now it's going fast enough. Three, two, one, done, complete. Ah, oh. my goodness, 3,100 plus Ender Pearls. Done. <laughs> yeah, I can I can tell you that uh, it, it took it, it. This really doesn't even go to show how long this actually took to complete. It, it literally took so long, and that was only three thousand. Uh, just imagine, like I've I've rolled some of these that have had way more. Uh, like what? Oh no! Hey, <laughs> did we get this? Eight thousand rotten flesh. Oh, at least in this case, I actually have enough to complete this because of the vaults and how much rotten flesh just builds up. But oh my, that could have been so bad. If that was Ender Pearls, I just would have, I, 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 I don't even know what I would have done. Now, another cool thing that happened that stream was I got my first prismatic roll. And if you don't know what prismatic is, well, I, I don't blame you because it hasn't been available for us the entire time I've been playing this pack. I, you know how I've kind of suggested and been like, hey, I wish there was a modifier that gave you a higher chance to get, uh, you know, catalyst fragments while in the vault. It's a thing and it existed, but it just wasn't in there due to a bug. But now it is. And so I ended up getting it on this vault run. All right. First random vault. Let's do this. Let's do this bad boy. Horde, hard, strong, personal space, prismatic. Our first prismatic ever. First prismatic. 
That's what I was hoping to roll. And we also have Horde, which is really nice. Um, unfortunately, we only got mobs move 10% faster. Kind of curious to see how... What else do we get? Strong personal space. So our only negative modifier is hard. Yeah, from this one vault, we might get enough, uh... Enough of those shards. <laughs> like, that it might equal what it would take. Like, it would usually take... I don't know, several vaults to get like even 70. Like I could do vault after vault after vault and still only get a couple of them. I felt like I would get like 12 every vault or something like that. So we'll see how much more this is. It's supposed to be three times as much. Uh, is this a... A bit. Oh, no, it's not. This is a regular one. I don't feel like there's a lot of ore. One more obelisk and we're good. Go doing that again. Where do you teleport to? I can't see. Goodness. I hate when they teleport. So yeah, I, I almost lost it big time on that one. That was a pretty close one with it regenerating its health and, and just kind of putting me in a, a time squeeze. Even though I didn't make it look like it, I was incredibly stressed out. After that, I, I got to sit down for a moment ah, and take a, take a breath. Now, I did get myself to level 180. However, it, uh, it, it just doesn't really feel like I'm gaining a whole lot of levels fast enough. So I might be increasing that XP gain by ever so slightly, maybe going up to 15 at the moment. I am currently at 10 and it does go up to 25 or 24. I do believe on XP scale. I'm thinking about putting it at 15 uh, because even though I'm at this level, 15 barely gets me a half of a level every vault run. I, that's crazy, right? That, that, that's, that's how much XP it takes to get up to level 200. It's mind boggling. So. I do need, I'm probably going to end up modifying my XP scale. However, uh, today during the live stream, uh, which at the time of this video going live or me recording the video, I did live stream and, uh, well, we had some fun and that's because we ran a treasure room. Yes, we ran a treasure key run and it was five. Well, I took six keys in, but we only managed to get five of them done, but you got to check this out. Somebody said that you can get, uh, you can get higher tier danks, but maybe you need to be 200 plus, All right? Well, we'll, we're doing an SLL, all the luck, and then we're going to be running with these gems. We will be taking hunger. That should be enough biscuits. Predictions on what you, what you think I'm going to get? I mean, I have just about everything I would ever want, I think, I, other than better danks. Well, I find danks in the vault, ugh. Fun to die! Have fun. Our first room. Why did I get withering? Don't I have a wither? Oh no, I still have the lucky on. Alright, let's eat, eat this. Then we'll open that one and then open that one. Saving us on those. 
Okay. Ooh, we got three relic. Ooh, that's actually kind of nice. All right. Oh, this is so like stressful though. I know I have a lot of time, but there's vault diamonds. Doesn't look like I'm getting incredibly lucky. Ooh, I did get, that's an architect seal, which is nice. I did do this though, Topium. Here we go. Oh, these are good ones. Oh, look at all the artisan scrolls. Okay. That is what I have though. All right. Whew, okay. Tons of stuff. We only have one more key to use. <laughs> you scared me. Oh my gosh. I, I noticed we ended up getting some orb frames, which are great. Anything else though? Not wasn't really. I was just trying to get as many done many keys done as possible. Which we did five keys. That's quite a bit. I would say we did pretty good. And we're level 180. Let's go. Like it's saying. Let's go. We got a hmm. Carl Oscar Wellington. Original. They were, they were, they came in hordes and made me wealthier than before. This is a cow vault clue. All right. So in this, um, I would say the best thing we got, we got frame or we got orb frames, which are really expensive. Uh, plant gatherer, not super useful because we can't make... We can't make rage upgrades for it, so it can only do a uh, thing in one spot. We did get seven unidentified relics. We got four rock, vault rock, not actual crystals, unfortunately, just rocks. 13 diamonds. A waystone for free, star core. A healthy amount of star essence. Am I missing anything else that looks incredibly valuable in here? I don't think we got anything that was worthwhile there other than vault diamonds and hopefully we get our relic out of these seven. Come on. Out, out of everything, if we just get the relic, I will be happy. Darn it, none of them. Now I said it was fun. I didn't say it was uh, worthwhile. I mean, it. Eh. We didn't really get too much out of all of those keys. Now, I have been told that after 250 is when you really want to do the treasure keys because at that point, you can get higher level danks all the way up to seven, apparently, from from vault, from those key treasure rooms. So yeah, but anyways, I have some more stuff I want to get done today now that I'm all rested up. So inside the soul shard trading menu is a few nice things. You can see we have a star core and a block of vault diamonds and even a blank key. All of those are really nice. However, I was thinking on the website, it says there is a 1.25% chance to get the thing we need to upgrade our magnet with. I, I The chance is so low, we're probably not going to get it. The luck has not been with me today, but I can grab these two items from the soul shard shop. I do have 4,228, so I can grab this. And this, and that leaves us with 2,727. I would like to keep at least a thousand soul shards or, or whatnot in here. But the goal is to try and get myself an Omega Magnet Core. That is what I really want. Probably not going to happen, but let's, let's try. Okay, that was junk. That's junk. 
Oh. Ooh, that's actually nice, Knowledge Star. Oh, we only have a few more pools left. That's not, that's junk. And that, oh man. The Knowledge Star was actually kind of a nice pool from here. That I will say. For, I mean, all the points that we had saved up, I would say that's pretty good. That's like three vault diamonds, or vault levels right there for uh, for unlocking, to go towards unlocking a mod. Now, my luck has not been with me thus far, but I do have my relic boosters. Can we get a relic from these, please? By the way, I do have a hotkey that I can activate to do a bunch of these at once really quickly. Let's see. Oh, that's not the one I want. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. So far, not looking good. Oh, and nothing. However, it did give us a little bit of levels. Ah, I tell you what, though, we have a ton of mystery boxes. I'm just so scared to open them because that's 3,000 mystery boxes. And each one of those are potentially filled with items. But not, not items we really need. That's the thing. Oh, but I do have cores. We should probably open those up. Another thing I almost forgot to mention, I did fully upgrade my charm table. So the charm table was fully upgraded. We did make the pog and we did invest all the materials. And now we can hold up to 1,026 items. So every time I go into a vault, I end up dumping these items into here. As you can see, it's a very extensive list growing every single time I run into a vault. But I, I still tell you, the best thing, the fact that I can put enchanted books in here, and I no longer get enchanted books anymore. Ah, oh, that was the best change. Now, let's take a look at cores. Uh, as we still are working on this, I have 48 cores. That's quite a bit. I've been saving these just for this occasion. R wow, our first draw, Vault Diamonds. Power Apple, don't need. Strong Vault Magnet, don't need. Helmet don't need, idle, hardy apple don't need, helmet. Another vault diamond, wow, vault diamonds. Vault chest piece, vault leggings. Where was all these vault diamonds before? Strong vault magnet, vault axe, vault leggings. Paxel charm, don't need it. Ooh, an enchanted book. Star essence, don't need. Vault sword, Paxel charm. I mean, do I really need these Paxel charms? I probably should say, I don't know. I don't know. I feel like a Paxel charm is so cheap. Star Essence, compared to how expensive a Pandora's box is. We might open a stack of Pandora's boxes, uh, box today. Let's see, Block of Netherite. Don't need it, and a Vault Idol. Um, also, Block of Netherite. Yeah, I'll use all that to go over here. What did we, what kind of book did we get? Enchanted book, I'm all excited to get these books. And it was, sh wow, Sharpness 7. Uh, we're gonna be using, I think we'll end up using these Enchanted books like later on, whenever we hit a lot higher levels. Now, Vault Diamonds, I will put into the middle. Yeah, this is where all the goodies go. Another set of Vault Diamonds. That's a bunch of Vault Diamonds we've been getting recently. I almost wonder, like, do we have a higher chance of getting better things from the Trader Cores now that we're higher level? It has to be. It has to be. Because I'm, I'm getting way better things. Way more Choice Flasks. Uh, there's a vault idol, vault right ingot, so much good stuff. There was platinum, but that's for vault diamond. Heavy repair core, that's what I want to see more of. Painite, vault idol, catalyst fragments, fragments I don't want. Don't care for silver, don't care for sword. Vault platinum, we definitely don't want. An acceleration chip I will keep. By the way, I did go through and I sort of organized uh, the statues that I actually want working and the ones I don't which was kind of nice. Vault plating, mod box. Probably not. Mod boxes haven't been giving us anything great. Catalyst fragments and then star essence. And there we go. So choice flask, acceleration chip, and a heavy repair core. All of those things, incredibly nice. We still have one more. What could this be? An enchanted book. Perfect. And that one's another protection five. Wow. Those are apparently the rarest, rarest book, which 
If we had a full set and we put a full set of protection five, oh my goodness. By the way, I'm also gonna go ahead and I'm going through all of my stuff here and uh, hopefully I have enough uh, of these uh, cores, these wasted cores that uh, I might be able, I'll be able to get another Eternal. That'd be pretty nice. I literally just cleaned out this entire advanced vending machine. And then this one, I'm about to clean it out too. I didn't realize how much junk I had built up in here that I needed to go through. But man, look at all this is de This has got to definitely cr look at this. I don't even have enough. What? I don't even have enough room. I still have an entire, oh my God. There we go. We have ourselves another cryo chamber complete. Perfect. I'll go ahead and take you. And honestly, I need to replace it with another one because uh, I've got more to fill. By the way, inside this week's bonus chest, I did get something new. I got this artifact right here. The Ender Dragon artifact. I was so happy to be able to get an artifact that I didn't already have. Um, now, the challenge crystal, which I know you guys always want to see, well, it was really nice, but also scary at the same time. This is a treasure, 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 um, locked, but double rush. And that double rush, ouch, with six obelisks is gonna take some time. However, this is exhausted. If we have fruit later on, that's why I'm saving this, you could increase this by using vault fruit. After placing down my eternal, all of these bad boys are getting a damage buff. Oh man, these guys are gonna be so powerful. I'm just, at this point, I'm just going for damage so that way they can hopefully just one shot everything in their path. Now, another awesome thing that I ended up setting up was the rearrangement of this area. This is now my armory. So I have moved all of the stuff and this is set up as exclusively an armor sorting area. And uh, the way I'm going about sorting things is, as you can see right here, this is uh, actually gear that needs to be thrown away. What I'm doing is I'm going through in any gear that is not tier two, it goes straight in the bin and gets converted right here. I have coal hooked in and automated into the back, so there will always be coal in this slot. And then it exports uh, or imports into our system the, uh, the vault scrap that you get from all of the scrap gear. Now it has to be tier two. Tier two gear only is what uh, I end up throwing in this barrel. This barrel then gets the items pulled in and then they get right clicked and sent in the, this area, which makes it so much easier. All I gotta do is just throw all this into my inventory and I can immediately see what the gear is. This is all tier two gear and this was from my last sorting. Um, and so if I'm looking for something very specific, I can go, okay, Here's the gear I, I, I have available, what looks good, and then I can decide whether or not I want to scrap said gear. So uh, it's really nice. This actually makes it so much easier for me to go through gear, especially since I'm only processing tier two gear. Everything else gets scrapped, so I don't have to actually process it because it doesn't matter. I have every gear piece of now uh, stored, so I don't have to worry about collecting a specific piece and uh, everything just kind of goes over here which is really nice. Like I can throw this in my inventory. It's gonna immediately start rolling without me having to right click this thing. And uh, we ended up getting, I think four Omegas. However, Omegas aren't the greatest thing in the world, uh, even with tier two, like there's just a chance. I, and the things I rolled were actually pretty bad Omegas. As you can see right here, these were the Omegas that I thought were okay. Like the okay at best. Maybe they'll be better once they have their rolls done, but Man, uh, not the greatest in the world. Now, of course, there's only one way to end episode 102, and that is to run the week's challenge crystal. Oh boy, this uh, this should be fun. Let's go ahead and run this. This is Antonio Ash. This is probably going to be a piece of cake. I have, I mean, I'm, I guess I can put afterlife on it just to make sure, but honestly, do we really need to put after, I, you know what? I'm not even gonna put afterlife on it. We are gonna run this bad boy and we are gonna do it the right way. Let's go ahead and clear set. And we are ready to go. I think I have everything on me. Oh, you know what? I probably should put, 
put all my gear pieces on. But other than that, we're we're ready to go. Let's do this. Challenge of the day. Oh boy. Oh, this is a it's a difficult vault. And six obelisk? You've gotta be kidding me. Six obelisks. What was the other thing? And we're weakened? Ouch. This is gonna be a painful vault. We may not actually be able to complete this. I don't know. I'm gonna try my best. We just gotta hope that we get obelisks in like every room. And so far we have seen zero obelisks. First obelisk. Man, I gotta get this done with six? The most amount of obelisks. There's the other one. There's the other one. <laughs> Thankfully, they're all in a room like this. There is our fourth obelisk. Our fifth. I literally need one more obelisk. Come on. One more. This is going to be a close one. I can already tell. Oh, I don't know if I'm going to make it. We're like, what, two minutes in? Come on. It's on the other side. It's got to be. Oh, it's right here. It's right here. We got this. Come on. I got this. Let's do this. I am weakened, but oh boy. Did we complete it? Did we complete it? Oh, four minutes and 10 seconds. We did it. Oh, with very, very little time left. Very little time. Oh my goodness. That was close. And with that, I'd like to thank the sponsor of today's video. That was actually kind of awesome. Well, we can of course thank the sponsor after we open this. Oh, and, and of course we didn't get the one we wanted, but this is all the stuff in the crate. And that huge things, by the way, if I can spell, I'm so nervous, is gonna go to Cape Sword. Thank you so much for your amazing support, by the way, over on the Discord, becoming a Discord premium member. And of course, guys, if you're interested in joining the Discord, all you gotta do is go to discord.gg forward slash chosen architect and join the amazing crew over there as well. So guys, I appreciate it. I'll see you guys in the next one. Click that subscribe button if you enjoyed today's video. And I'll see you in the next one. And as always, thanks for watching.